Welcome to this look at a packed new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Zealy P. The old farm countryside is where I find myself today. This has been converted from FS17 to 19 to 22 by ER Shabba 503.6 megabytes to download. To say it is mind blowing, mind bending is an understatement. Now, the map looks like this. I'm on New Farmer. On New Farmer, we start with the main farm area, 40, 43, and 120 down there. Uh, field prices, there are forestry areas. We've got the periphery, the verges of the map, 29.1 million to buy the verges of the map, which you can do if you cheat some money in, however you want to go about it, you can do that. Um, but field prices do vary, 120 grand, 163 that one there's 244 so even the bigger fields not mega mega expensive now I'm going to put some money in it momentarily as you can see the blue icons across the map there are a lot of them and there are a lot of them for a very good reason there are <laughs> on new farmer there are 30 factories already built in with over 30 new productions that you can do on here we've got extra crop types We've got lentils and chickpeas. Um, we've got some extra equipment thrown in. We've got some extra stuff in build mode thrown in. But we've got a lot of hidden icons. If I go back to the map, we've got a lot of plots here. I'm trying to find where they all are. So I'm going to have to do like these ones here. 94, 89, 88, 76, 92, 87, 84, 93, uh, 119, 98, 104. We've got some more over here. We've got some more here, we've got a couple here. All of these, once purchased, you will get blue discs, blue icons appear for loads of extra factories. There's a whole load here as well. Uh, 108, 86, 85, 75, 91, 118, 99, 117, 78. Um, so yeah, the, at the moment aren't showing blue discs or blue icons, but will be. And I will start just under stones. Chickpeas, lentils, almond, pistachio, olive leaves, sheep milk, UHT milk, vegetable seeds, sheep cheese, melon, watermelon, pallets. That plays a very big part in all this, this map. Corn oil, almond oil, pistachio oil, packaged sunflower oil, canned rapeseed, bottled olive oil, packaged corn oil, almond oil, paper, paperboard, biogas, donuts, wooden boxes, chocolate cereal, tomato jelly, strawberry jelly, tomato drink, strawberry milkshake, chocolate milkshake, watermelon and melon smoothies, margarine, pellets, chips, red lettuce, compost, protein for animals, copper sulfate, artisan bread, strawberry yogurt, I mean the list goes on and on. So mods and DLCs, platinum um, expansion, we have three required required mods, we've got the all but bale grab, uh, by Mac Trucker 921 We've got the Interactive Productions by ER Shabba VSR Modding Sir, and we've got the Lizard Roll 3600 by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sir. As part of the Old Farm Countryside, we've got some additions. These first ones are pretty much just colour changes, um, so various different colour options on those. So these are all added in. Uh, we've got the Rake, uh, the All but Bucket. These tankers, now these tankers will uh, put in specifically because they take all the extra oils and various different things that are on the map. So these have been edited to do that. We've got a mineral tanker. There's mineral in there as well. Then we've got these. So we've got the olive harvester. We've got the almond harvester for the almond vines. Now you might notice down the bottom on both of those as well, you've got a New Holland sign. There are a couple of options on here that I think are absolutely fantastic and I think Giants should implement. I just I think they're brilliant. So you've got a New Holland sign. If I click on here, slightly different, but you know, that's very nice indeed. But we've then got the almond picker, so that's for the almond trees, and that's got a little icon next to it, like a teardrop, but it's red. So that requires that requires the New Holland sign, and that requires the red disc. And this one here has got a blue sign as well. That's copper sulfate. Um, so when you're doing your spraying of your trees or your vines. You need copper sulfate mixed in with your herbicide or liquid fertilizer, so you might need to put those down as well. Um, so as we scroll across, you've got mineral palette, we've got cheese palette, and this is where the New Holland icon comes in. Spare parts palette. So as you do like with silage additive, you've got a little bar on there on that piece of machinery. You buy a palette of spare parts, so you repair your vehicle, and over time that bar gradually goes down 
and when it gets to the bottom you need to get some new spare parts put in fantastic copper sulfate that's what goes in the sprayers hydraulic oil so that anything that shows that little teardrop with the red requires hydraulic oil so you have to buy hydraulic oil in a barrel and again you put it in with that vegetable seeds an extra seed type so the seeds will do pretty much everything but there are certain things that require specifically vegetable seeds we've got plastic boxes and we've got wooden boxes put in uh, if we're going to build mode and the sheds we've got an absolute ton of sheds thrown in on top under silos we've got <laughs> honestly it's crazy so we've got the standard fare and then we've got these so we've got warehouses 600,000 litres warehouse four stones olives grapes a million litres for sugar cane sugar beet wood chip potatoes chaff compost 600,000 litre fertilizer warehouse mixed ration warehouse grass warehouse hay warehouse lime manure pig food Seed, silage, straw, animal protein. Then we've got a liquid tank, 100,000 litre. Uh, we've got farm silo, 500,000 litre. Potassio warehouse, almond warehouse, <laughs> manure bunker extension. And the silo extensions, we have got a silo extension, 200,000 litre. And we've got a manure heap extension. Uh, under container, we've got some tanks. We've got a methane tank, 25,000 litre diesel tank. And we've got a milk tank, which will do normal cow's milk and sheep milk which is an option too and the tools there wasn't anything or farmhouses and the productions now pretty much well there's all the platinum expansion stuff then we got all of these this is the required mod the interactive productions then we got these thrown in so you've got the Ferti master for making fertilizer seed master for making seed compost master now there are, i couldn't find one on the map but there is a compost master because a lot of people say well how do we do the compost uh, straw and uh, digestate you can produce compost you've got the forage master for making atomics ration pig food master feed master that makes the mineral feed that some of the animals require cut master will do sugar beet cut and then we've got the various different productions uht milk pistachio oil parmesan cheese <laughs> pallet factory uh, greenhouses we've got melons red lettuce and watermelon and then we've got under orchards so almond trees they go down like vines like vineyards and olives so the almond vines then we've got almond, uh, pistachio trees and almond trees so you've got options for different ones these can be placed all over and you can put them with, I think we've got some down already but you can place them as you do with normal trees and they require water and you'll see as we go around so all the various different things you normally do uh, under generators I've got the, in the government subsidy signs because we're going to need them um, then we've got under animals oh, come on do I sound frantic yet what do we have chickens under chickens we've got that one does 120 the other um, pastures barns buildings for animals are fixed in place so you probably won't want to remove them um and one of them is that blew my mind on its own so i'm gonna put some money in let's get around the map because we're gonna have a lot to to get around okay back to the map and i will show you so we've got quite a few more blue icons now on the map if we go back onto the purchase bit you'll also see that apart from the bits we had which was 40 43 126 and 120 we've got a lot more purchase bits of land now these don't cost very much either that's a little bit of agroforestry that's where i put the government subsidy signs in because i needed a plot of land 43 grand 45 grand 38 grand 37 grand they're not going to break the bank to buy these it's not like you're paying 120 grand each time for a, for a facility or anything like that so we've got a load more icons load more discs or you know badges to go around and have a look at i need to crack on we do start here with the uh, Mahindra. I'm not a big fan of this. This thing on the grass and sometimes on the road at speed slides all over the place. And I, yeah, I'm not a big fan. Anyway, so I will try as, as best as I can as we go around to say the ones that were already on the map. I mean, they're all, they're all already on the map, but the ones that were showing are the ones that you've had to purchase to get the icons to show. So this is one of the first ones. We're going to drive up to here. So this is the spinnery. There are 30 collectibles. I haven't come across one yet. So spinnery just here. And pretty much everything on here has been customised. So our spinnery. 
fabric wool, fabric cotton, but we require cotton and pallets. And that might put a lot of people off. So wool, pallets and cotton, fabric out. And the other thing I was going to say as well as we go around, everything is really, really well signposted. So you haven't got to spend time wandering around wondering what it is it's going to require because pretty much everything has got a little sign on it that shows you. So you don't have to worry about trying to find things or know what you should be putting where. Oh, the other thing I was going to say was if we go into here, our cedars. So as far as it goes for putting in your lentils and chickpeas, a regular cedar does lentils and chickpeas. Planters just do what they always used to. So if you want to put lentils and chickpeas in, they go in with a regular cedar. And then harvesting lentils or chickpeas is done with a regular header. So you don't require forage harvester headers or anything unusual or anything strange like that. That's fairly straightforward. Out from here. I will endeavour. I, I may miss one. I'm, I'm trying to remember the route I took. And this has been done in a couple of phases. Um, the prep for this was unlike any prep. I meant to take a turning. I've just realised already. I'm just always down here. There's a little turn that goes down to around to the side and goes under this bridge, which I meant to take. Yeah, the prep for this, my notes, which normally for a map tour are pretty, you know, extensive. Two pages worth. And this has taken me probably three hours to prep, to go around everything, to check everything and make sure I kind of know where everything is. Now, we've got buy points around the map, quite a few of them. So here you can purchase manure and you can purchase chaff. Plenty of buildings for it, which is pretty cool. So that's supplies, those buy points. And then we've got the grain elevator sell point just here. That was already on the map. Actually, Norton. I've, I've shown you on the map all the things that we bought, all the disc, all the um, plots we bought. Because I don't want to make a mistake on that and say something was there that wasn't there, and you know can get a little bit confusing. The map itself, oh man, it's, it's it feels massive. There's a few placeable areas around, as you can see, to our right. We turn down here. The route will seem strange, and at times I may skip bits of the route because we will backtrack on ourselves. So we come down here into the sawmill. Which we can purchase for 50,000. Wood planks, but it also requires pallets, so a lumber in, pallets, and then we get a wood out and wood chips. That's interesting, so I've got the platinum expansion on. Hmm. Does it? Strange. So from here, the route is quite windy here. <laughs> Copy as quick as I can. The introduction alone, with all the extra stuff in, has taken longer than I wanted it to. Out onto the road here. So, animal dealer for purchasing or selling of animals, it's just there. We've got buy point for top mix ration and pig food, so if you want to buy it directly rather than make it, you can. We've got sale of bales around the back here, again all nicely signposted so we can see what can be sold where. Then we come around here and we've got livestock the countryside. So livestock the countryside is a buy point for other feed types you might need for animals. So we've got corn, we've got wheat, we've got oats, and we've got mineral feed. All can be purchased there. So that's all livestock related. From here. We come into this point here. This is a cooperative, the countryside. So this is a sell point. various different crop types so cooperative 
Then we come through the back of here. Now this is one that did need to be purchased, as you can see, nicely signposted. It requires pallets, but this is your grain mill. And the grain mill, as you can imagine, takes some extra things. So we click on that. Flour, wheat, flour, barley, flour, oat, flour, sorghum. We can do corn flour and we can do almond flour in here as well. All thrown in at the grain mill. At the grain mill. Ooh, yes, I have gone a little bit doolally, as you can imagine. This, of all the maps that have come out on FS22, has been the most complicated. By far. Driving down into this section here. What was this one? Oh, blimey. My mind's gone. This is almond oil. Yep, almond oil. Now this doesn't require pallets. Uh, 11 in, 10 out, you don't lose very much, but you can make it almond oil here. And then you'll see as you go around and you kind of get a feel for it, that the various different products, one leads to another product. So something later on might require almond oil. So you can make your almond oil here and then take that somewhere else. And but having them all on the map already. I'll talk about slot count when we get to the main farm area because that's where all the vehicles and machinery and equipment is. And it, um, there's not a huge amount of equipment and machinery that we start with. But the slot count's up there, but it would be. Because in addition to the 30 factories and all the production, all the products that can be made, um, the, the map itself is intricate and detailed and there's a lot going on as you can see pallets required in there so we are up at two places now we have got production center and butter production so around the side here this building is your production center so we can make strawberry jelly tomato jelly tomato drink strawberry milkshake chocolate milkshake watermelon and melon smoothies so all the things required strawberry sugar pallets tomatoes bread olive oil milk chocolate watermelon and melon why does that require bread that's interesting which one of those requires bread tomato drink okay so that give it a bit of so like thicken it up or something i'm not sure anyway so that's that on production center and then across the way here as you can see, this is basically the margarine facility. Uh, all of those things can be put in. The outgoing product is just, you get a, a margarine. So we've got sunflower oil, olive oil, corn oil, or almond oil, we just said about. Um, again, pallets required. All those things in, and you'll get margarine out. So you can make your margarine from any one of those, which is cool. So margarine, we'll go back to the map, and I'll show you where we've been so far, because it is rather complicated. So we started up here, went across that one. We didn't go under the bridge, went down the side and down past that one. Came out here, past the sawmill, did that little windy road, took in the animal dealer. Here we did those three and that one. <laughs> we have barely scratched the surface. Uh, right, out from here. Well, this is why I don't like this. That's all I should have done. I should have grabbed a pick up and taken it up to the start point which I might well do because I need to get around quickly and when you get up to speed at this it, it doesn't like it it really doesn't like it and the weird thing is I've done map tours on the two previous versions of this now I know this had a couple of updates I think on FS19 but the weird thing is I think because we start in a different place because we've got a lot of different productions and things on here I, I'm trying to remember the map and I don't remember it as it is and I've got to certain points I'm not too sure so where are we now? Uh, we are at, this is the packing factory. So you can see all the various different things that can be brought in and packed. So if we go to here, we can do packaged sunflower oil, canned rapeseed oil, bottled olive oil, packaged corn oil and packaged almond oil, requiring all these various different things, including pallets. And again, all neatly labeled back to the map so we're now here we go back out and back past the animals and head out this way so back past the animal dealer and here we are on our left hand side we have a grove of almond trees which are growing 
needs lime, needs ploughing. So these work like the vines. So around them, you put your fertilizer on. You can do your liming. You can cultivate and plough around the bases of them as you go. And these ones will require the almond shaker, like you do with that that olive oil. There was an olive mod one, and you put the shaker around it, turn it on, and you get your olives. Uh, your olives, your almonds will fall into it. So there's an almond grove just here. That's what the almonds trees look like. Up into here, the first of two biogas plants. The biogas plants need to be purchased, you can't purchase the land on these first. 250 grand. So silage, slurry, manure and sugar beet cut. Regular in, regular productions, regular cycles per month. However, you do get methane out as well as digestate. That's why there's a methane tanker and the methane can be sold. So pretty much like on Western Wilds. So you've got your methane that can be sold. Methane's normally worth a fair bit as well. You won't get as much methane as you get digestate. But a biogas plant. With some nice large silage clamps. From here, you know, it was out here. Now this facility here, this is a plot of land that can be purchased. There are no icons, discs, productions or anything in there. That's just a storage facility. There's racking and shelving for bales and stuff like that. You can't open that door unless you buy the plot of land. Once you bought the plot of land, again, it's not expensive. Over to the left there, there's a bit on the map that you might look and think, oh, that looks interesting, I wonder what that is. Uh, so went past there, biogas plant, that little facility there, that will set you back. Oh, you have to buy the plot of land with that, 163,217, but you get the storage facility. That bit there is like agroforestry, um, 32 grand. So you've got trees in long stands with like roadways between them, but you could put crops between them if you ploughed them out as well. That's just over to the, that side. Heading straight ahead, we are heading south. I don't know what, we might just get round all this. I hope so. into here so storage this is corn oil i think it was yeah corn in this is corn oil production corn in corn oil out uh no pallets required on this one lovely <laughs> next door is it pallets next door oh this is a production center isn't it Ooh, see what I mean? Once it kicks one way, off it goes. So, production center, just here. Oh, it was pellets. So, wood chips in and pallets, and you can do pellets, so wood pellets out. See, that's what I was going to check. I'm not sure. Once you've purchased them, can they be removed? Sell production center for zero. Now, you have to be careful. I'll try it with this one. Oh, you can, okay. Um, because sometimes it gives you the option to remove something and you press it and you remove it and then um, the building stays there. So whilst you've removed the production, you can't then use it anymore, the building's there, but you can remove them. So if there are productions around the map that you think, well, actually, I, I don't want to use that, I want to use a different modded one and I've got no more land left to do it on. There you go. I thought I'd better check that. Um, so you can remove them. Whether you can remove all of them, I don't know, because there are quite a lot. Not quite a lot, there are a huge amount. So here we've got two points. This here is uh, for this is sugar company. So this is the sugar company sell point. Sugar beet, sugar cane, sugar beet cut. So this is just for selling. So if you just want to sell your product and you don't want to do anything with it, you don't have to. And then next door to the sugar company, we've got the sugar mill. I think this was one of the ones that had to be purchased. As you can see, pallets are required. Sugar beet cut, sugar beet and sugar cane. Come up to there. There we go. Sugar coming out. But again, requires pallets. So coming just back out of here. Now this is weird because this is French fries. But then the picture shows what it looks like. In the UK, we'll call them crisps and they're called chips in a lot of other places. Um, so this is French fry production, requires potatoes and requires, I think it was oil, did it require oil? I'm sure it did. 
Oh, there we go. Look. Sunflower oil. Come around to the front here. Yeah, chips. So well, it says French fries, but I mean, I thought French fries were what we call chips, like what we call chips. Anyway, a bit confusing. I think it's crisps, potato chips. Um, potatoes, sunflower oil, chips, out. And again, you can check wherever you need to to find out. Well, that's going to set you back, or set you back, or what you can earn from it. A bit of both. So from here, and then I mean, they, there's so, many, so many. I keep checking down at my notes, thinking, please don't miss anything. And stop sliding. Silly machine. I'm jump down that. Cut the corner because we need to head this way. So we saw the almond trees. To the left here, we've got the almond vines, the almond, yeah, almond vines, almonds, I suppose, yeah. There we go. So you can grow almonds in two different ways. The pistachio is just trees, but the almonds you can grow on vines like this, and that's why you've got that almond harvester that I said needed the New Holland parts. Um, you've got the shaker and you've got the harvester, and they can be placed down anyway, so you can add more in um, as you do when you do grapes or you do olives. So you just put them down, drag them along, and you can have a long string of them. Uh, we need to go this way. More here. And we come to this production, which is the cereal factory. The cereal factory, in addition to your regular cereal, does chocolate cereal. So we're down here. So it's cereal and chocolate cereal. Honey, raisins, oat, corn, pallets and chocolate cereal or cere chocolate cereal out. Next door to that, I think it's, oh, it's rapeseed oil, canola. So our canola oil factory. Now I know when I did one of these map tours before with with a map that had all these separated and people saying, well, why why can't they just all be one? They could be, and again, I guess. Um, so there you go. That's our canola oil. Again, no pallets needed for that. So canola in, canola oil out, or rapeseed rapeseed oil. Um, as we've already seen, once you've purchased some of these facilities, if you if you don't want them all separate, you could remove them um, and just produce your oil yourself my only concern would be because it's been made by er shabba and the onward productions that require those things may require the specific ones made by those factories and not generic ones it's just something to be aware of just to be cautious of i think uh, so if we turn right here I will, I will show you on the map where we've been i know we're kind of you know, when you're driving on a map it's hard to get a perspective an idea of where you are and, and what you've been doing Whoa. So this one, sunflower oil, sunflower in, sunflower oil out. Now the other thing to note here, just above here on the map, it looks like another area that potentially is a production chain. It's another placeables area just above it. There are a few. Back to the map, and I will show you. So from this area here, taking all those, we came down there and across. Oh, that was um, olives. Sorry, not um, almonds. So almonds, olives. And we took in both of those, which was the cereal factory, rapeseed oil factory. Then we came out onto the main road and we've headed this way. So we're now here at the sunflower oil, placeables area. Uh, and then out to there, we're going to go in a moment. I've just noticed, did I miss one? Oh no, that's on the, uh, that's on the verges of the map, which is jolly expensive. So from here, out towards the gas station. Gas station on the right. Oh, I've got to speed up. We've got so much more to show. Gas station on the right. On the left. We're going to turn down here. To our carpentry. Which is just here. 
And I have to go to each one of them because all of them are, are slightly modified. So furniture and wooden boxes, but again requires pallets. So planks and pallets in, you can make furniture and wooden boxes with wood chips being a byproduct coming out. Again, everything's labelled, everything's nice and easy to see. You've got the little signs by everything, pallets over there, your wood chips out over there. You know, you, sh you shouldn't have any issues finding where things go which does make life a little bit easier. Now I'm going to skip ahead because I'm going to drive back on the road where we just came, back past when we get the cereal, get to the cereal factory and we will continue from there. So turning for the rapeseed oil and the cereal factory, we are going to continue along here. Do we get to our next cluster? And we turn in just here. We've got sale of bales, nice and clear. Now this is a buy point, so this is a purchase point four. We can buy seed, we can buy solid fertilizer, we can buy lime, and we can buy our liquids. So we can buy um, herbicide and liquid fertilizer just here. So it's a purchase point, this one. 30 agra. Is this one down as fertinol, what was it? I don't know. I might be supplies down there, down there on the map now. From here, yep. We're going to turn left. There's a little plot on our right hand side at the moment. Just here, which I thought, oh, that looks interesting. I'll buy that. There's probably something. That's like just an abandoned farm. You can purchase the plot. There's no little blue discs or anything, or icons or anything. It's just a little farm that can be purchased if you want to. If you want to have that as your start farm instead. But we're going to whiz up the hill here. To this point. Just here. So this is the melon orchard. Water required. The vegetable seeds, that's about the vegetable seeds. This requires vegetable seeds to be bought here. Manure in. Pallets. And here we can produce melon. That's where you can get your melons from. From here. I may have just had to edit something else. <laughs> but I unfortunately said. Anyway, from here, we come to a whole range of greenhouses, as you can see. And again, everything nicely labelled, pallets and vegetable seeds required, water is required, and we have a selection here of various different greenhouses. We've got watermelon, we've got lettuce here, we've got strawberries here, tomatoes here and melon greenhouses. So as well as having the melon orchard, we've got so watermelon, melon, that one there's for strawberries, that one there's for lettuce, and our tomatoes, all with their own little bits that are required. So greenhouses up the top here. Now what I am going to do at this point is we came back across there, took in that cluster there of buy points. We went past that little farm and up to here to the melon orchard, greenhouses. Now we're going to drive across to this point and we'll take this little track, but it does wind a little bit. It takes a little while to get there. Um, so we need to turn. Okay, so I will see you at that point. So we come down the little hill here. We come to one of the first interactive productions we've come across and this is, is this a new one I'm trying to think if this is a new one or not so we come into here this is the parmesan cheese production so this one here just requires milk in cow's milk in we can make parmesan cheese now usually the bottles and stuff appear on the desks bench desks on the benches and what you can do with the plastic boxes that I said earlier, if you get plastic boxes, you can put them into the plastic boxes. That's usually how it works. I think I'm just trying to think when I did the mod review of the interactive productions when it came out. So that's Parmesan cheese we can make. From here.
We have a couple of cell points. I'm not going to go into that one because we've got time is of the essence, but that is the South Cooperative. So that's the cell point just there, the South Cooperative. And then just past the South Cooperative, we have got the South Distribution Centre. Now both of these are cell points, but it's just down to what things can be sold there. And again, it's nicely signposted. So yeah, the first one we went past was the South Cooperative, and this is the South Distribution Centre. And as you can see, everything's labelled. Your cotton and your wool can be sold there. You've got almonds, olives and grapes just there. And you've got palleted products can be sold there at the distribution centre. And again, if you're not sure, go into the prices menu and you can have a look. And it will show you all the various different things that can be sold at each location. We need to go left here, I think it was. Yes, it was. So now we're coming up towards the main farm area. And some of the plots of land up here were where animals are. So we have got a cow, um, cow barn with robot. <laughs> this one is on its own, blew my mind, without everything else. So this plot needs to be bought. I like the plot, I like the layout. Now these aren't in build mode, so you don't really want to remove them. But this will do 440 cows. Fairly standard with where the triggers and things are for this. Um, but what I like about this is we've got a pasture that's on the, the side here but then also goes out under a bridge and the cows do go from each one. They'll go from the pasture here, across and down, under the bridge and out into the pasture to the side, which is actually fantastic. Now, I did some recording of this because the feed robot is here. So if you're putting in your hay, your straw and your silage and your mineral feed, on the hour, every hour, that closes, it runs its cycle, the feed robot comes out and this little bit here, where it looks kind of worn and slightly grey, the robot comes out. Actually, I'm going to go into build mode because it's going to take too long otherwise. It comes out, runs around there, goes down the side of the building, comes in the end, runs down and back up to feed the animals. It comes back out, goes all the way back along there, comes all the way back and goes back in again. I recorded it because I thought I'm going to show that. It took seven minutes and I thought when I do the map tour I'm not going to have seven minutes to show that. As if that wasn't enough to fry the old noggin. We come across here and we've got two, that's right, two, we've got two sheep barns, buildings, two sheep pens. And each one does something different. Each one does 320. So the first one here, sheep. But in addition to your standard animal types, Swiss black, black, Welsh, man, with the Asaf, and we've got Castellans as well here. If I just say, let's buy one of those. Then we go back into there and go to our animals. You'll see that this one does wool. So this sheep pen, sheep barn, whatever sheep you put in here and feed, you will get wool pallets. Lovely, all very nice. The one just over there does your sheep's milk. So we can do sheep's wool and sheep's milk, but rather than being both at the same facility, they're the same um, sheep types. But this one will do 320 and you'll get sheep's milk from this. So if you require the sheep's milk for any of the processes, that's where you can get your sheep's milk from. Let me move a bit further along. We've got pigs just here. 320 pigs, but we've got some extra ones here. So we've got Iberian suckling pigs for breeding, and then we've got Iberian suckling pigs for fattening. Those ones are better for breeding and quicker. These ones fatten up and are worth more so it depends which ones you want to sell and which ones you want yeah but anyway so yeah we've got some different pig types uh, under pigs and now we move into the main farm area the main farm area is jam-packed all those warehouses we looked at at the start 
So, with various different capacities, ranging from 600,000 litres to a million. So we've got pistachio warehouse, we've got liquid storage tanks, that was 100,000 litres. I think that was the one that does... So we're going to build most, go to silos, I think it was in the silos, wasn't it? That one there. So that's the liquid tank, uh, and that will do liquid fertiliser, herbicide, and the... Um, Copper sulfate for the sprayers, so copper sulfate can be stored in those there. Uh, around to the side here, we've got the Fertimaster. So this is the one that will make your fertilizer using manure and digestate, and you can make solid fertilizer. Moving further along, we have more storage with all the various bits of equipment. We've got fuel tanks. This one was manure storage, I think it was. Yes, this is the manure warehouse. Moving further round, vehicles to machinery. Slot count, we can talk about that now. On New Farmer, it's 1,791. It's up there, but you can see why it's up there. Um, we'll talk about farm management start from scratch in a moment. Chickens. Hundred and twenty. Now as that says there, this requires grain and thirty percent of it protein. So that thing where I said about there's the, the machine for making animal protein feeds. Um, some of the animals do require that feed protein. There you go. Chickens, in case you weren't sure. More liquid storage. Sleep trigger is just here. If I go and stand over here somewhere. So as I said, 1,791 on New Farmer. On Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, that comes down to 1,445. It comes down because you don't start with any vehicles, any machinery, or any of the buildings at this farm. All the animal pens will still be here, and all of the production chains around the map will still be here, but on this main farm, you start with nothing. And it comes down to 1,445, and it will look like this. So you can set your farm up however you like, if you don't like it in the way it's done here. Wardrobe trigger just around the side there. If we come further over, more equipment and machinery. We have got our silo just here. Now the silo was, i trying to remember what it was. I wrote it down, 500,000 litres for the silo. Now that's a standard crop type silo, but it does do your lentils and chickpeas. So your standard silos here, but then we've got three silo extensions next to it. Each one of those is 200,000 litres, was it? think so we've got the main silo and three silo extensions next to it header and header trailer trailers now we do have on these nice tarps we do have some bales that we start with we've got some uh, grass bales and we've got some straw bales i don't think we've got any silage ones but some straw bales on the side here as well there we go then we've got some more storage just over here with the rock picker Stone warehouse, more equipment and machinery, including one of the sprayers that does require the uh, the extra stuff. And there we go, we've got our almond, almond picker. This one was the feed master. So this is what does your um, pr protein feed. So it requires those very different things, including the pallets of minerals, which I showed you right at the very start, and that produces protein for animals. Now, the, like I said, the compost one I haven't come across, but it is available if you want one. Olive warehouse, and then this one was almond warehouse. So we've got plenty of warehouses, but if it's something you're not going to run or you're not going to do, you can remove them if you want to. You don't have to have them. And over the back here, we've got a seed master. So, um, barley in and some slurry and we can produce seed out I'm trying to produce your own seed uh, that was that right let's go and grab our vehicular uh, transportation horses this does 14 horses I'm sure it was 14 horses with foals and mares so you can buy a younger version and you know work your way up until it becomes a full-blown mare or you can start with the mare and go from there from here into the main town area to our left we have our tailors fabric confections that's to be bought separately if you want to but it just does clothes but it does require pallets 
something to be aware of. Farmer's Market sell point, which is tucked around the back here. Again, if you're not sure what it takes here, you can check into your prices menu. The Farmer's Market sell point is around the back. Then we come around and down. I think it was this one. Yep. To this point. Stop here. We have a bakery, which needs to be purchased. Bread, cakes, and donuts we can make here. It does require pallets as well, but we can make donuts. And then next door to that, we've got the restaurant, and that's just a sell point. Whew. There you go, just a regular, good old fashioned sell point. Happy days. On from here, we've got the vehicle shop. So, vehicle shop trigger is just there we have a wardrobe trigger just there in case you want to do a wardrobe change because you're changing what piece of machinery you're going to use and what you might be doing so workshop trigger is just there this is the reset point for the map as well so if you need to reset anything for any particular reason you can reset it here continuing gas station on the right hand side and straight across and down into here we have got from the gas station we were at distribution center so at the south distribution center this is just distribution center so another sell point again everything signposted palleted products and stuff there um that one hasn't got a sign but that was the same as the other one i think it was was it grapes almonds and something else wasn't it Up on the hill. Lime station. Quite a big facility, but that's the purchasing of lime. We'll have to take a little bit of a detour southwest from here. You may be keeping an eye on the map bottom left. This was the most expedient route I could work out. When I say this map was packed, I mean it absolutely jammed full. This one here is the oil press. Let me come around the side. Here. And this is just olive oil, I think. If I recall. Yep, olive oil. Olives in, water. Oh, yes, but this does olive oil and you get olives leaves. So you get olive leaves out from this one as well, which is a commodity which can be sold. So you can get olive leaves. Oh, that was something I wanted to double check as well. Just same thought. I said about the, the, the compost maker. Oh, yeah, I wasn't sure. Because people say, well, wait, if you're just going to make compost and just sell the compost, what's the point? Your manure spreaders can spread compost. So if you don't want to do manure, you can make compost and you can spread the compost. So if you want to use the uh, the compost maker, you can. And in that pack, there was the, um, there's the sugar beet cutter and stuff as well. Um, I was thinking, in my thinking, I knew I was supposed to have checked something and I forgot what it was. And Out of the depths of my mind... Silage clamps to the right, to our left, the second biogas plant. This one will also need to be purchased separately. You can't buy the plot of land, you need to buy the biogas plant. And again, this will do silage, slurry, manure, sugar beet cut, and you'll get methane and digestate out. If methane production is your thing. Right. From here up. The hill, Whoa. easy tiger, no, come on. Oh, I just realised I went past the vehicle shop and I was going to, I'm going to cut up here. Just 
be a little bit quicker. He says, maybe not. I want to cut a little bit off. Uh, which one do I want to do first? This one, I think. So this was a storage building, like the other one. So you can purchase this storage facility if you wish. Once you've purchased it, you've got some racking. But I need to whiz along here very quickly because we saw the almonds, vi uh, trees and the almond vines. But further along here is your pistachio. We've got a pistachio grove. They're not growing at the moment, but just there, pistachios. So we are, I haven't shown you on the map for a little while. Oh, blimey, yeah, a long time. Going okay, from the parmesan, did all of that out there to the cows, sheep, pigs, main farm area, horses, round the town, vehicle shop, gas station, production centre and, um, sorry, distribution centre. And that was on, oh, that's on the uh, lime station. Then we come out to there, olive oil, olive or oil press, biogas plant. Uh, that one, there was storage just here, and then we're here, all the way down there. So that's where your pistachio grove is. Um, but you can put pistachio trees in wherever you like. So you can add way more in if you want to. Another interactive production, just here. Been it's by the pistachios, kind of handy. So this is our pistachio oil production. Pistachios in, oil out. Now back to where we were on the road. So I'll see you back there in a moment. Excellent. That's where we turned down that way. So heading out to here. This is our pallets production. So this is Pallet Co. I think the whole facility is pallets here. Yeah, pallets. Lumber in, pallets out, and some wood chips as a byproduct. I'm just looking actually at what the production speed is. 1,440, six in, three out, and two. Not necessarily going to be the fastest. Um, there were, I'm trying to think now, was it a pallet mod where you could just buy pallets? I'm trying to remember. But all these points up here, these are just where you bring your wood. So you can put your wood in both of those, interestingly. And that's your wood chip out. So, pallet production. So if you're wondering where you're going to get all those lovely pallets from, now I'm going to just cut up the side of here. We've got a cell point. All out here. Whoa, easy. So this is Fertinol. So this is a cell point for slurry and manure. That's, I'm sure that was Fertinol, wasn't it? Storage, potassium, it's for, yeah, Fertinella, sorry, Fertinella. Right, I've got to check my map. So from here, we've come all the way up there, went out at this point here. I need to drive out and across here and up to there. Right. Oh, editing this is going to be, I'm going to have to chop chunks out, I think. Up the hill here, to another interactive production, this is for UHT milk, milk in, UHT milk out, so again that will be decisions based upon whether you feel that producing your milk and then bringing it there to run it through a production, is it worth it for what you get out, potentially gas station just opposite. And then just here we have got another um, orchard. This one was for red lettuce. We got a red lettuce orchard here. So water, manure, vegetable seed again, and pallets. And we can produce red lettuce up here at this site. And then just to the south of here we have got a debris crusher, but it's not a debris crusher cell point, it's a lime production. Which is just here. Ooh. 
line production. Heading to the north of the map, northwest. So all the way out in the northwest corner, pretty much. This is the North Cooperative, so this is the co-op cell point. With the South Cooperative. What was the other one? There wasn't one right at the start as well, wasn't there? Oh, there was Cooperative the Countryside, South Cooperative, North Cooperative. Back throw just came. into the next point which is another cell section cell place and this is the hill distributor so this is another cell point for distribution of this one's just potatoes I'm pretty sure this one's just potatoes the hill distributor so that's potato cell point to our left. Now this came in two sections, one that was already here and one that needs to be purchased. Um, we have got the dairy plant and we've got the dairy. Uh, I think it's around, yeah, around the side here. So this one was the one that needs to be purchased. So this is the dairy. We can do butter, cheese, chocolate and sheep's cheese. So if you've done sheep's milk, you can do sheep's cheese here. Didn't do that. That was the line processing. Ten to nine, so you don't lose very much on the line, on the line processing. So yeah, butter, cheese, chocolate, and sheep's cheese can be done here. So this is the production side of it. This is one that you purchased. The other side is the dairy plant, and the dairy plant is just a sell point. So if you want to sell your milk, that can be done this side at the dairy plant. So two separate sections of, for all intents and purposes, the same facility. It was across the road to the paper factory. which is just here. Paper and paperboard can be made. Lumber, cotton, water and pallets, and we can make paper and paperboard. If we go back to our map, so we kind of, I got lost across here. Um, so we had interactive production there, uh, gas station, red lettuce, lime station, we went out there to the North Cooperative, uh, Hill Distribution Centre, uh, Dairy, and the dairy plant across the road there. If we come back along that road there, that's where we started. We took in, that was the first sell point. If we go back down that road there, that's in some of the first ones when we did the almond oil and that kind of stuff. So, I think, oh, I think we've done it. I think that's the map. I say that's the map. Like I'm, I probably have missed something. If I have, I do apologize. Um, there's so much more added in, so much you can do, and there's a lot of scope for, as we've found, you can remove buildings and productions if you want to, whether that will work with all of them. I would always suggest anything you're going to do that's going to be a major change to the map, save the game first, make the change, if it doesn't work how you thought, come out without saving, unless you've got automatic save on, that's always a bit dangerous. Um, you can come back out again, load back up and you're back where you were and none of the changes will have taken effect so just be be wary of that but that's the old farm countryside by er shabba did i say the start was 503.6 megabytes download i don't know if i did or not i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching So this way, get your melons out to melon. <laughs>